Hi Church, welcome to today's devotion. My name's Darren and I'm one of the pastors based at Manchester Central Campus and it's great to be sharing this devotion with you today. Whatever the time of day it is for you, I'm hoping you're having a great day. I'm believing that you're going to have a great day. I just wanted to talk to you um, about something uh, personal to me and uh, I'll just share you in on um, a story way back from my early 20s. Um, a few things that, that had happened in my life that meant I fell alone. And uh, to cut a long story short, uh, we'd recently started going to a new church. Uh, we'd moved from the church I'd grew up, grown up in and started a new church. I'd gone away to university, Catherine. Uh, my then girlfriend, now wife, was in the church that we um, moved to. And um, I just remember thinking, I've got no friends and I feel really, really alone. And I shared this with Catherine and she said something really profound and in her incredible wisdom said these two words, let's pray. And I remember sitting in our little Nissan Micra car that we had at the time and praying and just simply asking God for great friendships that he would open the doors to them and my eyes to the people around me to give me confidence to take the next steps and I knew I needed to trust him with this prayer so I lent on Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6 which says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths and, uh, and I can say, looking back now, and now then in my early 20s, now in my mid 40s, looking back, I can truly and honestly say that that prayer was answered and is still being answered today from the church we attended at the time. I have lifelong friends, friends who are sitting at my table now, who I know I can turn to, who I know I can trust, who have been faithful and loyal. I'm blessed to call them friends and um, I've turned to them through life struggles, we've celebrated together, we've walked up hills together, uh, we've been um, separate at times because of proximity but now back in proximity um, and it's just incredible to see that these are, are friends that God has blessed me with, he blessed me with at the time and, and I remember thinking um, how that prayer was for me quickly answered that once I'd prayed that it was it was only a matter of time before um, friends started coming into my life and I started to think, you are an answer to my prayer. Um, and it was absolutely incredible. And um, I'm blessed and grateful today that that prayer is still being answered. Um, and in in my world now, I've got I've got more friends that God is bringing into my world and that he is opening my eyes to. Um, who I know will become, uh, they will become lifelong friends as well. And here are three things that I learned um, from that moment in my 20s and three things just to pass on to you. And you maybe, you maybe have great friends or you may be in that position that I was in thinking I'm, I'm on my own, I'm alone. And I just don't think it's where God wants us. But what he always wants us to do is ask. Uh, and when we ask at the right time, he will provide and uh, the first thing is that the friendships you are looking for are one prayer away philippians 4 verse 6 says don't worry about anything instead pray about everything tell god what you need and thank him for all he has done be grateful for what you've got be grateful for what um is coming be grateful that he he loves you but don't worry simply ask let him know what the need of your heart is. The Bible says that he already knows it, but I just believe he wants us. He wants to hear us speak it um, and to ask the loving father. And in, in the right time, he will provide what we need. Secondly, the friendships you have asked for require you to trust God and lean on him. Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your paths. Like I said, I knew that I needed to trust God and I knew I needed to lean on him, not manufacture my own. Yeah, there was things that I had to do when 
um, when people came into my world or me and Catherine just inviting or stepping out of my own comfort zone. I'm naturally an introvert, find the corner of any room and stay in that corner. But I knew I needed to step out and say hello to people and um, and and build and create relationships. But trust God that he would give me the confidence and that he would give me um, the wisdom and that he would point me in the right direction. And the third thing is, is that you are valuable. Uh, and it says in Matthew 6, 26 to 27, um, it says, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? So I just wanted to highlight that that sentence, aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? You are valuable, loved and cared for by the Heavenly Father. He knows how important friendships are for us and for you. He knows that it's not good for us to be alone. He knows that two are better than one. He knows that when one falls, if there's nobody to hold him up, it's like, whoa, is, that, is he? But if he's got someone to pick him up and hold him and strengthen him and care him, your father knows that and you are valuable to him. So when we pray that prayer, when we trust him, he will, he will bring relationships, he will bring friendships. All we have to do is be looking for them, ready for them and step into them. Step out maybe of our comfort zone, step out of our um, of our comfort can't say it any different but step step into that and be willing to to invite to go to the the um uh to the um scenario the situation to set these these things up and and put yourself in in the arena of friendships sit at someone's table um, go and say hello to someone at church. Join join a small group. Get involved in, in a ministry team. These are all things that I started to do in my early 20s. Small groups, ministry teams, leadership, serving on a Sunday. And in that, I met great people. And through that, God answered my prayer because I trusted him. I leaned on him and I knew I was valuable. And so that he would answer that prayer because it's not good that I was that I was on my own or felt on my own. So my quote of the day, the friendships you are looking for are one prayer away. And then you just put your faith into action and step into becoming a part of things and build and, and get and then build great friendships and relationships. Love you, church. And I'm praying uh, for everyone that you will have lifelong, life-giving, fantastic friendships, people to laugh with you, cry with you, celebrate with you and challenge you. And that would be um, a, a huge part of your life from, from this moment forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great rest of your day. Love you, church. Bye.